in this video uh, we are going to discuss about uh, effect of cascading a uh, single tuned amplifier on bandwidth so in order to obtain a high overall gain uh, several individual stages of this um, single tuned amplifier should be cascaded therefore the overall gain is a product of the voltage gain of the individual stages so uh, consider um, um, n stages of uh, single tuned direct coupled amplifiers which is connected in uh, cascade uh, we know that the um, uh, relative gain of a single tuned amplifier with uh, respect to the uh, gain at resonance that is av divided by av at resonance is equal to uh, 1 divided by uh, root of um, One plus two Q effective del whole square. Um, if I want to find the um, the relative gain of uh, n stage cascaded amplifier, uh, this equation becomes um, I am going to take a power of n. Okay, so A V uh, by A V at resonance whole power n is equal to one divided by um, here uh, the root becomes 1 by 2 right so um, you have 1 power n 1 power n always uh, 1 power anything is uh, 1 so you will get n divided by 2 here okay so uh, we know that um, here uh, at um, at 3 db the frequency of n stage is cascaded amplifier that is av by av at resonance whole power n so here it is missing uh, av by av at resonance whole power n whole power n is equal to 1 divided by root of 2 okay so i can equate this uh, this two equation here i can equate uh, this one equal to 1 divided by root 2 so if it is equal to 1 divided by uh, 1 divided by root 2 means uh, um, if it is equate the I am equating the denominator so if I equate the denominator I will get um, 1 plus uh, 2q effective del whole square uh, the power of uh, 1 n divided by 2 that is equal to 2 power 1 by 1 by 1 1 by 2 okay so here the 2 2 get cancelled out right um, here you can see 2 2 2 i can cancel the uh, i can cancel so it becomes um, uh, like this okay so here i am what i am going to do is uh, i am going to um, uh, divide the whole term by n so if i divide the whole term by n i will get uh, 2 power 1 by n and i am uh, i am making this uh, uh, one from uh, right side I'm subtracting uh, this whole term by one and here also by one so one one get cancelled out so I'll get uh, 2 Q effective del the whole square is equal to 2 power 1 by n minus 1 so minus is uh, um, here it is not uh, it is not 1 by n minus 1 it is 2 power n 2 power 1 by n minus 1 okay So here I am going to take uh, divide the whole term by uh, by one by two. Okay, that is two power two by two. Here also I will get um, uh, whole power one by two. So here also I will get two power one by two. So if it is two power one by two means um, here uh, two two get cancelled out. Here it is one by two. Okay, so one by two is uh, nothing but a root value. So we know that uh, what is the value of del? What is del? Uh, del is um, uh, del is nothing but a fractional frequency variation. That is omega minus omega r divided by omega. From resonance value, there is a change in the frequency. That is nothing but omega. So omega I can write it as two pi f. So again, I, uh, omega r I can write it as two pi f r. So I can take 2 pi common in the uh, denominator also I have 2 pi fr. Uh, 
so i will get uh, del is equal to f my f minus f r divided by f r so i am going to substitute in um, in this equation so i will get 2 2 q f t f minus f r divided by f r that is equal to root of uh, 2 power 1 by n minus 1 okay so uh, if i take this uh, f r to this side and uh, q effective to this side i will get f minus f r okay um, f minus f r Uh, that is equal to f r by 2 q effective root of 2 power 1 by n minus 1. So, uh, to get the upper frequency, upper cutoff frequency, uh, that is f2, uh, instead of f, I am going to substitute f2. So, if I substitute f2, I will get f2 minus f r, that is equal to f r divided by 2 q effective root of 2 power 1 by n minus 1. Similarly, if I want to get the lower cutoff frequency, I am going to instead of f, I am going to substitute f1. Okay, so f1 minus fr is equal to minus um, fr divided by two q effective root of um, two power one by n minus one since it is for lower frequency so we know that uh, um, we um, bandwidth of the cascaded stage okay uh, that is bandwidth of the n stage identical amplifier that is equal to f2 minus fr um, plus fr minus f1 okay so uh, on solving i will get uh, this one is equal to I, fr fr get cancelled out so bandwidth of uh, n identical stages that is equal to f2 minus f f1 so we know that um, what is f2 minus fr f2 minus fr is um, this equation fr by 2 effective uh, root of uh, 2 power 1 by n minus 1 and uh, f1 minus fr is minus fr divided by 2 q effective root of 2 power 1 by n minus 1 so you interchange the sign and you, if you add it, this one uh, you will get um, in the denominator you, you will get 2 power uh, 2 into uh, these two whole term the, so 2 and uh, 2 in the numerator and the denominator get cancelled out so bandwidth of uh, n identical stages is equal to fr by q effective root of um, uh, 2 power 1 by n minus 1 so we know that uh, already we know that the q effective is equal to fr by bandwidth so you, you can substitute bandwidth is equal to fr by q effective so uh, the final conclusion is um, uh, the bandwidth of the n identical stages of the inverter is given by identical amplifier is given by um, bandwidth of n is equal to bandwidth of the first stage okay this is the bandwidth of the first stage Uh, root of 2 power n uh, 1 by n minus 1 okay so bw1 is a bandwidth of the single stage here, and uh, bwn is a bandwidth of the n stage so if i want to get the um, uh, if i want to find the effect of uh, cascading a double tuned amplifier on bandwidth so here uh, an uh, n, n number of identical uh, double tuned amplifier are cascaded and uh, therefore uh, the overall bandwidth of the system is uh, narrowed and uh, the steepness of the side of the response is increased uh, it is same as that of uh, single tuned stages uh, uh, therefore i can give uh, uh, bandwidth of n okay n stage that is equal to bandwidth uh, uh, bandwidth uh, first stage right um, into 2 power 1 by n minus 1 root of uh, sorry uh, whole power 1 by 4 okay so
so for the single stage ampere single tuned ampere it is 1 by 2 for double tuned ampere it is 1 by 4 so that is a change okay so i hope uh, this video is useful for you thank you very much